Okay, this is going to be my third video explaining how to use Bitsum Process Lasso software. Once you've installed it, following my first two videos in my software to use playlist on YouTube, once you've got it installed and once you've started your computer, then what you want to do is click on your start button and there you go. You should have it now listed here, attached to the start menu. So double click on that and boom this is what the window now looks like so process lets you give you these graphs showing you whenever it has to restrain something you'll, you'll see a big dip in the graph so what it, I tend to do is I tend to click on the tab here that says active processes you, you can you can look at all processes that are going on but it's better to just click on what's actually happening at the moment in your computer what's taking up memory and CPU use I'm using a quad core computer um, to show you this, so let's go across here. Right, and then here it tells you CPU use as a percentage. Um, you'll notice if anything uses more than about 25% of the computer, you'll feel your computer start going a bit slower when something's monopolized. So let's just say, for example, um, I felt the computer was going slowly and Firefox was using, let's say, 30% of the CPU. In order to change how much of your CPU a program uses, you right-click on that program, then go down to CPU Affinity, go across. I, I tend to do it. If you want current means for this session, for this particular day, you can change how much of the CPU that particular bit of software is going to use. But I tend to do go to always which you know you're setting the limits for how often it's allowed to use I, as you can see I've already unticked normally all processes are allowed to use as much of the CPU as they want I've already unticked four out of um, the eight that are listed because I've got hyper threading I've got a quad core compu computer so basically it's like having four engines but they're also hyper threaded and that means you can be kind of doing two things with each thing so that's how I end up with eight of these to adjust so let's say so I've already decided I don't want it to use half of the computer's power now I'm going to change it so what you do is um, left click on the tick mark and boom it's gone and then you have to go back to the process you want to change so in this instance Firefox again right click on it Go down to CPU Affinity, go to Always, drop down, and again now I'm going to tick CPU 5. So uh, left click on the tick, okay, and then do the same process again. Right click on the process, the software you want to change, go to Always, and there you go. I've now limited it. So now it can only use one of the cores of my computer. Instead of allowing it to use all four cores, I've decided you're only going to be allowed to use one. I may change this back, I'm just doing this to show you what to do. And this is the same process you do for any any software that you notice is hogging um, your computer. So let's have a look at what Chrome's doing. How have I got Chrome set up? Again, I've got Chrome set up to only be allowed to use half of my computer. And that's just what's currently active. All the time this changes, all of a sudden um, a bit of software you're using will suddenly start doing something. Further down you've got this action log which is good. It shows you what processes in your computer are active and what they're doing. It tells you how long they ran for. That's just my computer name. Blah, blah, blah. And it also gives you a little bit of information about the command line, what the things are and what they're trying to do. But you can see all the time you see things processes get launched and then they get terminated that's just some things are just needed for a few seconds by windows some things are needed for minutes that's AVG antivirus so, so anyway but the main thing I just wanted to show you in this third video about bits on process lasso that's how to adjust a bit of software so if you've got a bit of software that really hogs your CPU adjust it in there don't let it use all the cores of your computer and then you'll end up with a computer that runs really nice and smoothly. And here it shows you how much of the CPU is being used. 
if you ever see one of those green um, bits of the graph go right up to the top, you'll know that one of the cores is being really hammered by some bit of software. And then if that happens, look along here, look at what active processes you've got by clicking the active processes tab. Look at what percentage is being used. And if it looks high, I'd say anything over 25% is high. Go to the process, do what I've just told you, and don't allow that particular bit of software to use all the cores of your computer. And then you're going to have a really lovely, um, smooth running computer. And as you can see, since I've installed this software, it's done over 30,000 restraints, 26 today. So that's fairly normal, I would say. Okay. Um, there's nothing else to really show you. I just wanted to show you that. That is how to restrain a bit of software that's causing your computer to run slowly. There's all kinds of other things, obviously, to do to make your computer run well. Um, you should have a, a RAM freeing tool on your computer. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. I use a bit of software called FreeRAM XP Pro, which I find really useful. You go into settings, click configure settings, click on memory, and then you can adjust everything on here. I, I've done it to automatically free if memory goes below 840 megabytes. And that's because I've got, uh, I think I've got four gig of RAM installed on this computer. And always make sure you use auto free. If you, if you tick try to free, and then set your own amount. Oh my god, your computer will come to an absolute crawl. That down there with the number where it says 1,209, now that's megabytes. That shows you how many megabytes you've currently got free. It changes all the time. Um, only use auto free, and then free RAM does its own freeing process, and it'll only free up RAM that's easy to free up. If you try doing that, your computer will become dead slow and sluggish for a couple of minutes. So and on top of that, obviously to keep the computer running smoothly, use something like C Cleaner. I would run that every couple of days, clear out all your cache and cookies, and do the registry tool on it as well, clear out your registry. Um, what else can I show you? Anyway, that's enough. <laughs> so, make sure you use Bitsum Process Lasso. Thank you for watching, and bye.